my students that you know they should be writing something they love and finding creative ways of combining the various things that they love even if they seem opposed in some way there can be Less something than really than electric you know <laughs> about that that's a wonderful thing to tell your students um, I've had on, on a number of occasions people come to me and tell me how they almost gave up music in college mm. because it felt so squashed mm. and what you've articulated there is the opposite of that I'm glad your students are hearing that is, is there anything you would say to young composers who are interested in who are you know, trying to find their voice they've only been writing for a few years but they love it what would be your advice to them well, I would say different things to concert music composers than I would to film music composers. For film, for film composer, I, I'll pass on two things. Um, one is from experience. Film music is a business primarily. Uh, so don't come to it looking at it as a means of self-expression primarily. It's it's a business, you're serving someone else mm. a product that they, that they need to want. And so that's, that's a big hill you have to get over when you're a, when you're a young creative person in, their, in your 20s, you know, and you, mm -hmm. everything you write, you're wedded to. And, you know, yes. Because you won't make it, you won't go very far unless you can learn to collaborate, give up your ideas in lieu of the ideas uh, of the person that you're working for even if those ideas come from a place uh, that's a far narrower range of experience with music than yours is, mm -hmm. because it's a business. And because it's a business, you have that collaborative aspect, but you also have just the business side. You have to learn how to manage your money and, uh, or else you'll never you know, be able to make a living doing it. Um, you've got to learn how to protect your fee, how to package a project properly. And so, um, this is, you know, that's something I would tell a budding film composer is that, yes, it's an art, but you need to learn the business. And the other thing I would say is something that I actually heard when I was a 20 something young composer wanting to break in. And um, I, I went out, I called Lalo Schifrin. He'd written the theme to Mission Impossible, which I thought was awesome. And I called him up and of course. said, I want to meet you. Can I come out and talk to you? And he said, sure, come on out. So I, I was in my little Chevy Vega and I drove out to, you know, Beverly Hills and, wow. you know, I wonder if they tried to tow my car, you know, cause it was, <laughs> it didn't belong. Did, didn't belong there, right? Yeah. No. But um, anyway, I went in and, and had a great conversation with him. He was so uh, warm and generous with his time. He listened to a piece that I'd written. It was actually a, a classical piece, uh, a song cycle. The first piece I ever really, uh, the thing I call my sort of first piece, real piece. Mm -hmm. uh, it was based on poems by E. e. Cummings, <laughs> by the way. Wow. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, he listened to it. He, he was complimentary about it, pointed out some areas that I could grow in, you know, that that pointed to. And, and, um, and then he said, uh, just before I was ready to leave, he said, you know, the guys that make it in this business, they're not the most talented. They're not even the best connected. They're the ones who can endure. And I just thought that was the wisest thing. <laughs> <No. Yes. laughs> and you know yes. what? His, that, that assessment of what it took has borne itself out over the years, over the 44 years of, you know, mm -hmm. that has proven true. So for a concert music composer, I would, uh, I think I would want to say the thing that you said, and that is write what you love and don't be dissuaded from that. Um, but also don't assume that you'll be able to sell it. Write what you love, knowing that it might be rejected, knowing that it might, that no one may want to pay for it, knowing that you may not make a living doing it. If you write other than what you love, the artificiality will soon be manifest, you know, somehow. Some of, the, some of the people that have figured out what sells and write it, they're fabulously successful. So it's not a key to success that I'm talking about. If you want to be a concert mm -hmm. music composer, though, the duty of a concert composer, I think, is to take on the task. If that's what you were made to be, if that's what, if that's what your vocation, your calling is, 
then you have to write what you love. What would you say are the skills that would be crucial for a film composer? And is that different than a, than a concert composer? Well, in that case, I would say, and this comes from my own experience and my own set of values, I would say it's the same. And I think the traditional uh, study of music craft, uh, theory, harmony, counterpoint, um, learning how to craft a good melody, uh, these, these are the traditional, and learning how to work with forms. And mm -hmm. you do that by practicing older forms that have been done mm -hmm. before. Um, I'd say that those things are all the important things, you know, to make for good music. We are now in a time that uh, doesn't value those things in the way that they were valued, even when I came up, you know, into the business of film music or in writing my concert music. Um, the contemporary, uh, set of values is different and involves a lot of uh, tech savvy that I don't have and that, I, that weren't a part of, of my experience, you know. So <coughs> I, think it's, I think it's only fair to draw a distinction between those two things and, and say that mm -hmm. good music is still good music, you know, whether it's written from a tech standpoint or written from, written from uh, more traditional uh, forms. But, um, but I don't, I don't really fully understand how good music can be good music without some, some training in where music has been throughout the course of human experience. Because we don't, we're not islands, we don't exist on our own. We're, we're the fruit of generations of human beings that have lived before us and left us the legacy of their work. And that, you know, whether we're aware of it or not, that legacy plays itself out through us in a dozen different ways. And, um, so I, I still think, I mean, for me, the best music is created when you have, um, when you have some training, you know, to be able to speak um, with, with some sense of facility, you know, through the, the medium of music.